Curation is a term that's often associated with the world of fine art. We might think of curators as the specialists in museums who manage collections, design exhibits, write catalogs, restore artifacts, and tell visitors what is significant about a particular object on display. In the world of the internet, curation is a word that is increasingly used to describe the work of people who aggregate and organize digital resources for particular audiences. This labor may be paid or it might be unpaid, and curatorial efforts may be directed to public audiences or intended only for friends or family. On sites like Pinterest, for example, people show many different kinds of collections, such as cool shoes, interesting record covers, or my favorite, old photographs of female scientists or technologists. Curatorial activities could include finding objects of study for a collection, organizing objects of study in a collection, labeling objects of study in a collection, providing commentary on the collection as a whole and its objects of study individually, managing and maintaining the collection and its objects ethically, making the collection and its objects accessible, and preserving the collection and its objects of study. In another unit of this course, we focus on ethical issues. Not every collection should be accessible to everyone or preserved forever for a presentation to the public. Some collections may be created without the consent of participants or violate norms around privacy. Curatorial activities can be remarkably complicated. In determining how curation may add original content to a collection, it's worth considering how commentary upon sources may demonstrate the value that curators can add. Knowing information about why a particular resource is significant can enhance its meaning for an audience. Historians often work on analyzing so-called primary sources, which are created by people who were original, writers, artists, composers, eyewitnesses, or participants. The six C's is a comprehensive method for analyzing sources developed by librarians to cover six basic approaches to commenting on sources. They include content, summarizing or describing the main idea of a source, citation, providing information about the origin or provenance of a source, Context, characterizing the circumstances of an object's creation or reception. Connections, explaining how sources are related to other sources or to base knowledge. Communication, identifying point of view or bias in a source. And conclusions, advancing a specific claim about how the source contributes to our understanding of a topic. All of these activities can also be done with digital sources created very recently. However, not all types of commentary are obvious or attention-getting, and curatorial activities also involve finding, organizing, and labeling objects in a collection. 